Good morning everyone, or good afternoon, depending on where you are attending this webinar. First and foremost, I would like to thank you all for taking time, out from your schedule, to attend this webinar. Welcome again. Before we start, let me provide a brief on Calcutech. Calcutech has long been an advocate of open standards and standards-based communication, to facilitate interoperability in true sense. Our solutions enable customers implementing mission-critical applications across the smart grid, industry 4.0 and IoT solution spectrum. Together with ASE Systems, Calcutech has been providing solutions for utilities and industry for past 35 years. ASE being the US company acquired by Calcutech in 2014-15. A few points to keep in mind before we start off. This is a listen-only webinar. However to facilitate clearing of your doubts, or queries that may arise during the course of the webinar, feel free to send us your questions by typing in the window provided during the talk itself. We would come back with our response to you by mail or phone. Today's topic is, how to exchange operational technology that is OT data with, AWS or, other IoT cloud platforms. Cloud technologies, paved way for making advanced data storage and analytics options, easily accessible for all, and hence there are a large number of possibilities available to do this effortlessly. Typically operational technology provide only option to monitor the status and operational conditions of utility and industrial devices. With the introduction of cloud technologies, operational data are proactively utilized for improving overall equipment effectiveness that is, OEE, control, and improve overall return of investment. However main challenge here is in getting the data from field devices on different protocols to cloud-based IoT platforms. Sync Connect Edge software which support utility and industrial device protocols, can help you in solving this issue conveniently. In this video let's see how easy it is to set up Sync Connect to get your field device data to the cloud. Typical IoT data acquisition system includes, end devices or sensors in the field, cloud-based IoT platform and, an edge gateway which take care of data collection from one or more end devices, and share data with IoT platform, using a uniform data model. Let's look at the procedure to configure the Sync Connect Edge Gateway, to collect data from field devices and send it to the cloud. There are basically three configuration steps to be done on Sync Connect Gateway. In this example let's see how to transfer data from a DNP3 field device to AWS IoT Core. Step 1, set up for field device communication. Step 2, configure the cloud connectivity settings. Step 3, select data tags. In this step you can select the tags which need to be exchanged with the IoT platform. Let's look at step 1. Configure a DNP3 device connectivity and data. Open Sync Connect configuration tool, and go to Devices section and Project Tree. Select Add a new device. You will be prompted to select the device type, as generic Sync Connect Linux device, or sync device type. In this example, we are using a generic Linux hardware, so I am selecting Sync Connect. While adding a generic device you will be prompted to configure the physical interfaces count, where you need to enter the number of Ethernet ports and serial ports supported by your device. In this example I am selecting a device with two Ethernet and one serial. Once device is added, go to protocol configuration and add a DNP TCP master channel. Right click on channel and add a station. Inside node, you need to configure the communication settings. In this example I am configuring only IP address and rest of the properties are kept as default. Once node settings is completed, right click on node and add data profile. Inside profile section, add data points by clicking on. Add row button on right pane. In this example I am adding two digital inputs as DI1, and DI2.
and two analog inputs starting from 100 as temperature 1 and temperature 2. Now we have configured field device connectivity and data. Let's go to step 2 and see how data can be configured for pushing it to AWS IoT Core. Go to Tag Operations section in Project 3. You can see IoT Platform Connectivity settings where Event Queue Size, Integrity Period etc. are configured. Below that in Exchange Data with IoT Platform section, you can configure the IoT platform to which data need to be pushed to. Select IoT platform as AWS IoT Core. In platform URL copy and paste AWS IoT Core resource URL. Change other parameters as required. Let's configure publish a topic and subscribe a topic. Configure MQTT Client ID and then select the security credentials. First select the device certificate issued by AWS IoT Core. Then the device private key, and then root CA of AWS IoT Core. Now select the tags which need to be pushed to IoT platform. Go to operations where all tags configured and sync connect are listed. Periodic push and event push are the two properties which determines how and when data need to be pushed to the cloud. Go to recreed tags in this example I am selecting both digital inputs to be pushed on event, and analog data temperature 1 and 2 to be pushed on periodic basis. Now save the configuration by proving a file name. After saving the configuration download the configuration to the target device by specifying the IP address. Once downloaded, device software will automatically restart and data will be collected from field device and pushed to AWS IoT Core by Sync Connect, where you can build storage or analytics etc. Let's see how we can verify the end-to-end -end communication of field device with AWS. In this testing we will be using ASE 2000 as an external device to simulate field data. Sync Connect will collect data from external device using OT protocol, and send to AWS IoT Core in MQTT. Now I am starting the simulation device in ASE 2000 and, changing the digital inputs and, analog inputs in the software. Here you can see that the simulation device started communicating with Sync Connect. Now let's monitor these data in the AWS platform using IoT Core. Select the IoT Core service. In AWS IoT Core go to test menu where you can monitor both devices to cloud message as well as cloud to devices. Diagnostic tool of AWS IoT Core is nothing but an MQTT client that can be configured to publish or subscribe any messages. Enter the MQTT subscription topic configured in Sync Connect.
When events are created in the external stimulation device, you can observe the same in IoT Core, as shown here. Now let's change an analog data and go back to AWS IoT Core. Here we can see the analog data almost reported instantaneously. As you can see, Sync Connect helps you to obtain device data from field to cloud, with quick and easy steps. Apart from AWS Cloud, Sync Connect also support Microsoft Azure, IBM Cloud, Generic MQTT and OPC UA2, publish or subscribe data with private clouds.